Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike B with Bombero Bus. And if you watch this channel, you probably thought this next video was going to be about uh, the Pertronics distributor that was a fail for me. That's the points back in there. But I'm sorry, guys. I'm not ready. I'm still pretty disappointed in that fail. And so I don't want to make a video on it because I don't want to talk bad about them and I want to continue to investigate to make sure the problem wasn't me which I already know it wasn't so this is just a quick fill in gonna show you that I did get some seat belts in got some seat belts in it didn't take too long got some tan ones to try and match the uh, interior of this car and the reason for that is I've been kind of a bad dad in that I me and my daughter cruise in this car a lot. And man, I just felt so uncomfortable with her not being in seatbelt that I decided to do something about it. So I went ahead, put that one in on that side, and then I'm gonna put one in over here too. And then something else I did for her, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but uh, you know, what we like to do is go on a cruise and then stop and, and eat. And so I'll let her slide over here and uh, put this tray up and eat her meal on that tray. I don't know where I've seen this before, but uh, the idea is not mine. This has been around, but this actual design was just something I, I messed around with and experimented until I found the right dimensions for that particular steering wheel. But I thought that was pretty cool. I keep it in here and she eats her lunches on that. Because you can see this car is a daily. It is a daily. I, <laughs> I need to clean it up, but you know, uh, these are the things, my dog leash and you know, my jogging shoes. And I take it to work uh, all the time. If you, uh, if you followed that engine build, you know that's why I chose this 1800 uh, for a daily and it's been running great so far. But enough about that. Let me show you uh, these seat belts. All right, like I said, I got all this stuff from J-Bugs, but what you don't get is any type of instructions, and I believe uh, there's a couple of videos out there, but this one was pretty self-explanatory. I got the three-point retractable, and the way it mounts is up here. This is a 1965, so there's this big hole I'll show you on the other side too. And what I couldn't find was where does this mount? Because on my brother 70, this is mounted further over here, uh, closer to this back seat. But you can see this clearly doesn't get in the way and I kind of uh, like it there, but where it mounts, I'll go show you on the other side. And here we are. So on the 65, if you pull up this carpet, you can see that there is a place to mount that uh, retractable gear, I guess, for your seat belt. And the other one is on the tunnel. It's under there, and you can see that this one's already mounted into it, so that goes up there. And what they did send were, were these, so that this part here can, you know, set in that, but I didn't like this, I don't like that. So I'm not gonna use it. There you go. You can see that's a nice little fit right there. And what can happen is, I'll show you in the hardware, this here technically could be moved further back. I'm just not going to mess with it because it's not in the way of anything. And that's where VW saw fit for, you know, that to be mounted. So I'll leave that alone. But I'll show you the hardware that came with it. Okay, this you won't need. I, I didn't need... I got some just in case, but it's for earlier cars, I believe. But sometimes the mounting holes in the car can be bigger. And so this is kind of a reducer. You could, uh, this goes in that hole and threads in. And then for mounting your actual seat belts, you know, you can go like that. But on mine, none of the holes were this big. And I didn't think they were, but I didn't want to get caught being that guy. So I went ahead and ordered these they weren't that much just in case because at that time I hadn't pulled back any carpet and looked for you know my mounts my mounting points so 
won't be needing those. Maybe you do if you have an earlier car. This is where it's at for, for the 65 at least. Now, all this is, it's self-explanatory, okay? There's just a bracket. I'll show you where this bracket is on mine. I just used it right here in the back. Okay, the bracket is what's actually mounted into uh, the floor of the car. And then there's this little spacer here to keep this off and movable or else this will be smashed right up against it without that spacer and uh there's no gap there and it's hard to move around so and i don't even know if this is right guys i'm just telling you this is the way that i did it so you can see that brass part there that's this elbow mounting it to the floor and then this part of the elbow allows for this spacer without being jammed up in a pinch so, I mean, that's it. The only other thing I could say is they send this, and all this is for is if your floor board or your floor mount is, you know, in really bad shape, or you wanted to move something further back, that's all this is. You drill a hole, you drill a hole where you want it, and uh, you kind of use these as a sandwich plate, if you will, between the bottom of the car uh, in the top inside of the car so that you know you have some meat to uh, keep that mounted other than that that's it I'm gonna you know move forward there's nothing to do but the same thing I did on the other side and at least I have a nice mounting point there so but I will try to show you best I can with one hand what I'm doing here so you know I've already punched a hole through the carpet here and that's where that's going to is underneath here is a welded nut to capture the bolt so need to get through that carpet there so my bolt can go through it so now i've got my bracket and one of the long bolts going through the carpet and i'm going to put it through that there i'm going to use the plate the little round plate that they sent just for extra measure and i will get that tuned up Okay, now that is mounted, and then on the other side, I used the nut and the spring washer, again, just for good measure. And then, like I said, guys, I don't even know if this is the real way to do it. You know, sometimes you have to improvise, but what I do know is I have three-point retractable seat belts functioning in this car that look good and have very sturdy mounting points. So there's the rest of the bottom mounting point wanted to show you before I went ahead and buttoned it up, but... You know, there's a bolt coming through the retractable gear uh, through this bracket. Then that's where the spacer is. And then on the other side, just a washer and a nut. And, uh, you know, I did take some cues. This is how it was done. When my brother bought his bug, it already had seat belts in it. And that's how it was done. And I just wanted to show you that I fixed it on this side. Uh, I had this 180 around, so the, the pretty side goes towards the back seat. I think, again, like I said, I'm not an expert on this, but it lines everything up better. And uh, that's how I did it. Found out by doing it on this side. It just seems to work out better ergonomically and uh, aesthetically. So there it is in its entirety. Uh, that's the final installation. And I think it looks pretty cool. Of course, I think it looks cooler without them, but we've already gone through those points. So let me tell you some things that sucked about this. What sucked is no clear instructions. Having to hope on the, your old car or bus that you have uh, good mounting points. If not, you have to create some, but that can be done um the temptation to not move your seats 
which I did move that seat out, pulled it out for that side, but not this side. Uh, it's much easier to do if you go ahead and do that. Um, pushing the bolts through the carpet, uh, having to find out and punch through where they mount through the carpet and then getting the bolt through there and then blindly lining it up with the uh, threaded receiver in a way that you don't strip it. Uh, and just general discomfort, uncomfortable positions when trying to do that. Now, here's the plus. No tickets from cops, and more importantly, my daughter has a seatbelt to wear. So, you know, I'm glad to be done with this job. I don't enjoy it like I do working on other things, but it is done. So thanks for hanging out with Bombero Bus VW. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if it helped you. If not, leave a message. Uh, let me know what's up. But either way, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you on the next one.